Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I'm going to be reviewing Trio by the Other Brothers. Before we do that, can you please like and subscribe and check out cardmagiccourse.com. It's very special and it's getting even more special because I'm uploading new videos every month as well as uploading the live sessions that we run as well as they're now once a month being guest lecturers. And so we have Pete Wardell, we've got Vinnie Sagu coming up and there will be many, many more. So it's a bargain. Go to cardmagiccourse.com if you want to learn from me. If you love this, you will love that. Uh, so let's get on with it. So this i didn't know anything about this again love it love it getting something and, and when you get something like that through it's so big it's going to take focus on my face which is nothing wrong with that uh it's just massive i'm not holding that <laughs> it kind of looks like i'm holding it right up to the camera it's huge uh and i was like oh what's this and then very quickly i i opened it up and knew what it was you can just grab one don't look at it yet keep it hidden in your hand i won't look in fact i'll look at you that way you know i'm not looking where i shouldn't be looking if you just open the page up just have a look at one everyone else look away i'll look away you got one? What free? She likes monkeys, so bananas maybe. Bananas, that's a good idea. Bananas, yeah. Let's have a look at Darcy's homework. You thought of a, an animal, yeah. what did you go for? A giraffe. And you thought of a famous person, who was it? Albert Einstein. And you thought of? Banana. Darcy's art homework was on Photoshop. She's done a picture of Albert Einstein <laughs> on a giraffe holding a banana. But you open it up and you can see that it's a well-made product. What this is, it's a triple prediction. So it's kind of like, you know that thing that you can get people to say, what is it? You get them to name any animal, you get them to name a part of the world and you get them to, and you end up with a, what is it, a grey elephant from somewhere, I don't know, from Norway or something. <laughs> Some of you look at this going, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know this trick, nothing like that. So that makes the last uh, minute or so completely pointless. The prediction comes out of this. Ooh, I'm just drop everything when it comes out of this. Whoa, I've put that on the keyboard, it's making a funny noise. Prediction comes out of that, right? So, so you, you open it out and there's one of the predictions there. Albert Einstein, uh, on a, uh, <laughs> this is going to look slightly dodgy, uh, on a draft, holding his plums, or holding a plum, as Matt Wright says on the download. Uh, so straight away, there's, I, I like that, I like it, I think it's quirky, I can see straight away you've got 10 minutes of stage material, brilliant, and it's an inbuilt routine, meaning you get this, uh, you can do the routine, and it's going to give you 10 minutes or whatever of stage time, kind of. So first of all, I, I don't really review anything, I, I really don't like unless it's really awful and this isn't but there are going to be some things that that people don't like about this and it's best to highlight them as well as what people are like about it so what you're going to like about it is it's super easy it gives you that stage time there's loads of mileage in this isn't there you know whenever you've got three people doing something you've got loads of mileage and I've talked how, about how much I love um, performing Bob Cassidy's fourth dimensional telepathy because it just gives you so much room. You've got three people, you've got all this stuff going on, and I love that dynamic. You can improvise around it, you can create right material around it, and it just feels like a, an experience from beginning to end, rather than here's a quick magic trick. So that's what's good about it. Great for stage, great for parlor, and like I say, quirky, different, feels great. Now, it's not. we all know that there are many envelope predictions. There are different envelopes you can buy. There are ones you can make. So the, the idea itself is not different, but the kind of, and actually the, the big bit of this is a classic concept, which a lot of you will know. But that bit of it that allows you to, basically they allow them to name any fruit. And that's the important thing, right? That you get to that thing and that itself is not a force. The rest kind of is, but that isn't. I think it's okay to say this. And I think on the copy and on the questions on vanishing, people say it's a mix between forces and free choice. And it is. And that's quite a cool thing. You've got three different methods here, kind of, of, of getting to that final prediction. And importantly, I know I'm repeating myself, but the final one is the one that really sells it. Therefore, it's the one you emphasize any fruit at all, and you can change your mind, etc. and then you pull out that prediction. What you also get is this bag, which is ungimmicked, and that allows you to do one of the predictions, one of the forces, which again, it's a really nice little subtlety with this, which is very, very simple, which kind of creates a kind of impromptu change bag, but isn't, and, and 
it, it actually adds a really good convincer and it's a, it's a super simple thing and like Matt Wright said who, who does the download as I say um, he's like a, he hadn't seen it before and he doesn't know whether, whether the other brothers came up with it and I'm not a mentalist so I haven't but I'm sure mentalists would have seen it maybe but it just seems super simple and, and again very very good and again they can if you want them to not that you would look at the bag afterwards they can interestingly another good thing is that they can also you can give them that bit of paper that is the prediction to look at afterwards you won't maybe wouldn't want them to keep it or if you want to start printing things up you can um, but you can you can give it to them and that's examinable too the envelope itself isn't but that's okay that'll be out of play by that point you can also with that envelope you can completely create your own predictions as well that gives you the ability to do that but again you're going to have to get rid of the Einstein thing and, and start printing your own things out for those of you that are handy on Photoshop and have that kind of ability and resource you can do that so again there's quite a lot you can do with this and it, it, it's a solid trick if you like the, the routine you'll be able to do it the the challenges with it are this is the thing I kind of think what will people what would could they not like about it first of all it's kind of limited if you don't change things around you know you, that's your routine now, arguably if everybody was doing it people would see the same performer do it at two different venues i don't think that's going to happen i don't think it's going to be one of those tricks so it wouldn't be a worry for me the main thing is well a couple of things you get a couple of downloads which you're going to have to print out if you want to do it the way the trick is taught for me that's a bit of a challenge actually because i don't have a printer i rarely get the the, the reason to use one so if I have to print anything out it's a bit of a faff going to find something again not enough of a faff if I want to do this routine I'll, I'll do it and it's fine the other thing is that you have to find your way of forcing one of the things so he Matt goes through a few things there are more expensive ways and inexpensive ways of doing it you can use so one one forces with a bag one is a complete free choice and the other force is the one where you've got to kind of choose your own way. So he talks about you could do pre-show, you could do um, use fill cards if you know what that, you could use a spend pad, all these things you can use. You can use digital force bag, you can use a phone with a different app on it to force it and of course you could do it in a very, very uh, rustic way. There's so many forces but you will have to kind of find your way of doing that if you don't choose one of the ones on the download. For some people, that means, it, well, that and the printing means it's not ready to do out the box. Me, no problem with that at all. It's 10 minutes of stage time. I can, I can you know, spend the time doing that. But for some people, um, it is going to be a problem. There is very little memory work in it. Actually, there's no memory work because you've got a crib which, because of the way you perform it, you don't really have to hide very much. It's right there. You can, just, you can go through all the motions. So that's another pretty strong thing about this is if you've got a triple prediction and you've got no memory work, which is a, another bonus that I've got to put in the pluses. And the only other negative thing for me, which again, if you're on stage and you're entertaining, isn't as much of a problem, but magically, if you read your theory, you are using three different methods to come up with the three different things. So you're using a different, well, not just different method, but it looks different as well. So it's fine using three different methods in the way that the audience don't know you're using three different methods, so it looks exactly the same, but actually you're gonna have one method using a bag, one is a free choice, and one using something else, whether it's phone, spam pad, or whatever way you wanna do it. In theory, that doesn't really work, does it? Because why would you do it three different ways? But my experience is actually you can play on that. You can, if you wanted to use a phone, you can say, well, we've got somebody that's quite young, so we're gonna use something more contemporary. You're quite, you wouldn't say old, but um, more mature, say, so we're gonna use a more old school way of doing it. And you look like you're, you're kind of happy-go-lucky, so you just name one out and from the top of your head or something like that. And that gives you a reason to do three different things. Again, those three different ways of doing it can give you an opportunity to perform or it can be a problem and people might sort of start saying, why have you done that three different ways? I think of people like John Archer, um, No Britain, people like that. I've seen them perform with kind of cards and things like that and people don't question it because they're so entertaining. But if you are a more serious performer, you are gonna to wanna to think about that because people, it, there is something open to scrutiny there. But again, for me, I wouldn't really find that a problem and I'd happily do it and wouldn't worry about it. I haven't performed this because it's big. It needs to be on stage, which is another thing. It's not a close-up thing. You're going to want to do this on stage. The envelope is big. It's chunky, and you're going to, you, which is great because you can put stuff in it. You can, as Matt Wright said, you can put everything in it. You can put your spend pad or whatever you choose in it, and everything can come out of that, including the bag and all the bits and pieces you need. 
uh, but because of that you don't want to be too close up or I wouldn't feel comfortable being too close up but I think it's a solid stage trick and if you like the effect I don't think you can go wrong if you're happy with all those other things so that's Trio by the other brothers thank you to Vanishing Ink for sending that to me that is available from Vanishing Ink please do use the links below they're not affiliate links but it is uh, very nice of them to send it to me and any questions, do comment below and I will answer your comments on Thursday's Comments on Comments show, which is at five o'clock every Thursday. And you can come and hang out. So please come and do that. Check out carbmagiccourse.com, like and subscribe and have a great one. Cheers.